In this tutorial, I will show how you can lip sync your character to a song that has an instrumental interlude. You certainly don't want the character's mouth to be moving during the song when it is an instrumental section. Keep watching and I will show you how. This is Patrick taking over for Randy. Whoa, whoa! With Create Studio 3 Tips short. Here is a short song Randy created for a special girl's birthday who happens to love unicorns. He used the 3D creator character Danny with a singing action throughout the song. But where you see the box is the instrumental part of the song. As I scrub the playhead through the box section, you can see Danny's mouth moving based on the instruments. What is desired is to have his mouth stay closed until the next vocal section starts. Fortunately, that is very easy to fix. The first step is to cut the song at the spots where it switches between the vocals and instrumental. Place the playhead where a switch occurs and use the scissor icon above the timeline to cut the audio track. Continue to cut the song wherever it switches between vocals and instrumental. In this example, the first and third section are vocals and the section in between is the instrumental. The second step is to cut the Danny track somewhere in the middle of the instrumental section. You will notice that when the cut is made, Danny is no longer holding the microphone, and that is because Create Studio is starting over the singing action at the cut. Let's scrub through the cut and see what it looks like. Notice the microphone disappears before the cut and reappears after the cut. That may be okay, but there is a way to make Danny continue to hold the microphone. Click on the title of the Danny track before the cut. On the pop-up menu toggle on Disable End. This will prevent Danny from returning to the idle pose. Next, click on the Danny track after the cut, and this time toggle on Disable Start. Now, when scrubbing through the cut, Danny continues to hold the microphone. The last step is to sync the character's lips to the audio. Click on the first clip of the audio track. Right mouse click and select Sync with Danny. Create Studio knows to sync with the Danny clip before the cut, as that is the only Danny clip occurring during the audio clip. Repeat the steps on the last audio clip. In this case, Create Studio will sync the audio with the Danny clip after the cut. Let's play that and see how it looks. Happy birthday, old glittering friend. Danny starts off mouthing the words. Till the very end, a world of what a catchy unicorn song. His mouth remains closed during the instrumental. And he starts mouthing the vocals once again. There you go. That is how to lip sync a character to a song with instrumental interludes. Hey everyone, have a good day and happy creating.